We start with breaking news on ABC 17 News at noon. No one is hurt and traffic is back to normal after a factory fire east of Columbia this morning. ABC 17's Joshua Blount joins us live from where that fire happened. And Josh, you're told that 140 employees were at work when that fire happened. Yes, yeah, Zola, around 9 o'clock this morning, Boone County Fire Protection District got called out to a fire here at Oxcon, a, ma a vehicle manufacturing company who makes brakes for um, who make brakes for vehicles. Now, the 100 employ 140 employees were able to make it out safely. However, it took, however, two dock doors to the building were damaged in the fire, and officials say there is also smoke damage inside. Vice President of Oxcon, Kathy Cohen-Smith, told me an employee who worked in the dock area saw a flicker and sparks coming from the dock door when the fire started. At that point, Cohen Smith was notified of the fire and everyone began to seek safety. The vice president also told me that the company just had their company fire safety refresher yesterday and employees did what they could to contain the fire until Boone County Fire Protection District arrived. Gail Blumenkamp, assistant chief for the Fire Protection District, says they had 20 firefighters on the scene today and because of the effort from the employees, they put the fire out quickly. Cohen Smith says after investigating, they found the fire started because of its short end of the wiring. I got an email saying we have a fire, please evacuate. I checked my phone, I was like, that's not right, because we just had a fire drill yesterday. Like we spoke about what happened, what, what to do when fire, when we have a fire on the facility. And I was like, it's supposed to be some kind of drill, but it was not. Everything worked the way it was supposed to, so that was good. Uh, like I said, the main thing for me was that everybody got out safely. Now, the vice president tells me that the employees were sent home today due to the fire damage and the smell inside the building. But in the meantime, they have some cleaning up to do. Reporting live from Boone County, Joshua Blount, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Josh. The company says they have an insurance investigator from Kansas City coming to check things out. But as of now, they don't know the cost of the damage.